Um, two big wins on the road this weekend, obviously. What was working for you guys? Um, honestly, just everything. Like, our offense was doing good. Like, I don't think we had – we had times – we had one time against Oral Robert where we kind of couldn't score the ball for a minute and they kind of came back a little bit. Otherwise than that, like, we just felt connected and our composure was good and we just could score the ball really well and play defense like we were guarding really well. Uh, what changes in your mindset when the when shots aren't falling? Yeah, that's coach emphasizes that a lot. He uh, tells me to play like a river, or like just all of us. He's like, go as a river because water always finds it way his way. So like, just focus on defense, rebounding, let everything come to you. Uh, that's really the main focus. If shots aren't falling, because you can control the things that you can control. So playing defense, getting bored, just a little stuff to win. Um, NDSU this weekend. Um, obviously they're gonna play hard. Friday they lost by two here. How are you guys preparing any differently for that? Um, honestly, I think we just go into it with the same level head we do every other game. Just know that we go and play our hardest and just know that we play together as a team and just ignore everything else that's not on the floor within ourselves. Um, anything you guys want to do specifically over the next three games to close out the regular season? Well, just win, play our hardest and try to get, try to get the wins. I mean, that's the most important part. So, I mean, if we just play together and go on the floor and give everything we got, I think we should be good. You guys obviously got the dub last time against NDSU, uh, but this time at their home court. And you guys had to play a little bit of catch up last time. Uh, how important is getting off to a stronger start uh, playing in their building? That's definitely a big part of winning games, too, is just getting off, start, off with a strong start. And especially at NDSU, when the game's going to be packed like that, the atmosphere is going to be crazy. I feel like just getting off the hot start and just quieting the crowd as uh, early as we can, that'd be, that'd be great for us, for sure. How much uh, more confident is this group? Uh, I mean, you guys are really having a tremendous year, and uh, it, you know, it's clicking. It's clicking. How much confidence have you guys grown from that success? A lot, like an insane amount. I would feel like I feel like we all just know our roles. We know what to do, and I don't feel like anyone plays out of their role. So I feel like all of that connected. It just like helps everyone shoot with the ball. Like we're all just happy for everybody. I feel like every time I'm here, I hear some sort of Paul Saylor, you know, talking about uh, playing like a river or some sort of uh, Zen parable. Uh, where, where's this stuff coming from, and uh, how helpful is it for you guys? Coach Saylor, he's a vet for sure. He, he's, he's had a lot of experience in this college basketball stuff, playing and coaching. So, I mean, just having a great coach like that, just knowing a bunch of things and how to build a team like this and just put them all together, just, that just, just really props our coaching staff for that. Individually, you've uh, you started playing some of your best ball as of late. Uh, what's gone into uh, your success personally? Um, I'm going to go with the coaching again. Coach Taylor's really helped me a lot with that. The the river thing kind of got me thinking because I went from 28 to zero points in one of my games. And he talked to me. He's like, you just got to let it come to you, flow like a river. He's like, just stop going against it. And I was like, you're right. I'm just thinking too hard. Went to Denver game. I was just relaxed. I was calm. And I was just playing like I normally do. And I was just relaxed. And yeah, I've been playing better.